when it comes to activating your vagus nerve, there is quite a lot of things that you can do. And in this video, I want to guide you through a few different ways that you can get your vagus nerve activated or initiated or tuned. Usually we look into tune the vagus nerve. And there is a saying when you're very anxious that you're high strung. It's almost like a like a guitar string that's really, really tightly pushed apart, right? And you play it and you can barely get a tune on it. It's just high strung. And that's what happens with a nervous system when we're very stressed, it becomes very tight and very high strung, right? Very pulled out. So different ways of working with it is sound, massage, movement, breathing, vibration, the frequencies, uh, shaking, tremors, working with different aspects to connect to your nervous system. So most commonly, what you can start with is accessing these areas right here when it comes to the vagus nerve because it's the 10th cranial nerve that goes from your head down your body. So I usually place two hands or two fingers together like this and place them here. And then just rub the skin back and forward. Relax your shoulders and breathe. You will notice. I will start to yawn. It's not because I'm tired or bored. It's because my body is saying, oh, I'm relaxing, it's feeling safe. Feeling the saliva increase in my mouth. Can be slow, can be fast, can be gentle, can be a bit firmer. And then we just let it go. Take a moment, connect to your body. What are you noticing? What are you sensing? So next step, as we're going to work with the way that the nervous system, the vagus nerve travels through your body, is we're going to use two or three fingers like so, and then gently grab the trachea. Don't squeeze down on it. Just grab a hold of it gently. Relax your jaw. And we're going to move this side to side as you breathe. Don't go too hard. Don't go too fast. Find your rhythm. And breathe. You can work up and down. Can work a little bit faster, but don't push too hard. If you work faster, work lighter and faster, not harder and faster. And then at the end again, just relax, brief. So we're clearing all the pathways for the vagus nerve to travel down your body, which makes it less high strung because there's nothing that pushes in to your vagus nerve as we start to open this area up. So next one, we're gonna use the side of your index finger and your thumb. You're gonna turn your head around until you find this muscle. It's called SCM. And you can squeeze down on it, almost like you're... Uh, squeezing on a toothpaste tube. Squeeze, hold and release. It's very important to sit down when you do this because you can get very dizzy. So squeeze and hold. Don't forget to breathe. Try to relax the shoulder. Trying to create space by releasing the tension in these muscles, which will free up your head and your neck, allowing for more blood flow up to your head. 
and more space for your vagus nerve to travel through your body. You can grab a hold of it and move it back and forward. You can squeeze in and move side to side. You might feel a little bit of shooting sensation or it can go like a question mark. It can become a little bit dark for your eye. It's not dangerous. It's just peripheral sensations. And then move your head a little bit. Take a few deep breaths. I'm noticing it myself. I'm speaking slower, a little bit gentler voice. And that's the sign of starting to tone the vagus nerve. I'm starting to calm my nervous system down. Now we're going to work on the other side. Don't forget to breathe. Try to relax this shoulder. You can squeeze and hold and move your head in different directions. You can move the muscle in different directions. And then move your head a little bit again. I'm noticing more flush of energy circulation up to my head my eyes feel a little bit more energized i'm feeling calmer but more energy so it's not adrenaline i'm not getting an activation because there's a fight or flight in my system i'm feeling energized but calm at the same time and that's usually when we start to tone the vagus nerve you feel energized present safe and able to connect to other peoples and beings. So these are a few ways that you can start to open up with the vagus nerve, working in this area, working through the muscles here, working with the trachea, the airways, and where fluids and food comes down into your body. The last one we're going to do today is working with the sternum and also a little bit with the thymus gland, which is connected to the immune system. The reason we're doing this is because the vagus nerve runs through here as it connects to the lung and the heart on its way down the body. So what we're going to do is we're going to rub the chest a little bit, the sternum a little bit on the sides here. We get a little bit of circulation because when you move the skin, you will also affect the muscles beneath. So you increase the circulation. And usually a little bit of relaxation in the area. We're going to tap a little bit. And we're going to make a hum as we exhale. So you're going to inhale. Hum as you exhale. Mm. Two more times. Mm. Last time. Mm. Let's drive it apart. So the sounds is what's called a sonic massage. The vibration massages the body on the inside. The actual massage we do is on the outside. So we're really moving everything. And the sound comes from your vocal cords. Right next to your vocal cords is your vagus nerve. On the right side, you have a track of the vagus nerve. On the left side, you have a track of your vagus nerve. So we're really toning it. 
in many different ways. So this is a quick way that you can get going with toning your vagus nerve. It can be in the morning, it can be in the evening before you go to bed. It can be in the middle of the day if you've done a lot of work, if you want to reset your body so you're ready for after lunch or if you had a pause throughout your day and you have the second half of your day moving forward, this is a great way to tone the vagus nerve to get more energy, but not that survival energy, not that adrenaline. You get more energy by connecting to your body so it's not wasting energy trying to look for dangers. It's staying safe, connected within itself, and thus it has more energy and you feel more vital sleep becomes better, focus becomes better, it's easier to manage communication with others and relate to others how you're feeling and actually listening to them as well. So it improves basically all areas of your life. If you want to learn more about different ways to tone your vagus nerve and work with it, I have a grounding program online. And if you want to know more about the grounding program, I have a grounding masterclass coming up 11th of June that I will uh, drop a link here below in this video. So you can come in. It's free of charge, the masterclass. You can come in and I will share more about what grounding can do, connecting to yourself and how you can receive more benefits from embodying these practices into your current life, how that can improve your health, and your relationships, finances, and all areas that you might want to be working on to feel healthy, happy, and to be able to move forward with joy in life. So June 11th, I dropped the link here below. Feel free to ask me any questions if you have any. Thank you very much for following along this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.